Hey there everybody, welcome to the new part of our vlog. Uh, Sunday morning I uh, decided to do a, a new a new part. Um, I have selected seven hands that we are going to analyze. Uh, we, are going to do, we are going to do things a little bit different today. Um, first of all, we are going to use Hold'em Resources Calculator, which is a similar program to ICMizer, yet it does offer a little bit more options, a little bit, you can play around with it a little bit more, you can choose a little bit of a different scenarios. So I think all in all, it's a better tool to deal, to analyze our game so in the future we're probably going to be using this program um, however I have already recorded this uh, this part like three days ago but I was doing the analysis the simulation on the on the on the video right every time we had a hand I ran a simulation and when I started editing the video I've noticed that it starts to lag like crazy when those situations are being done by the program hence I have not uploaded that video but I deleted it and decided to do the um, do the analysis run the simulation beforehand and then record the video so here it is we're gonna have seven hands um, I just marked these hands randomly there are like a few different situations we're gonna play around with those situations we're gonna edit the opponent's ranges a little bit and see how everything changes so um, without further ado I think the best thing is to just jump into the action so we have our first hand here as you can see we have a stand suited we're on the button and we are immediately faced with a shove from the big from the utg with 18 big blinds we have him covered um so yeah this was a this like i was debating here whether this is a call or not um so i put in the if you put in the numbers uh if you put in the hand in the hold on resources calculator we see uh, this spot um, by default it says that he should be shoving around 13% so basically almost any pocket pairs fours and above uh, all the broadways HJ cough plus uh, some pseudo aces and that's pretty much it so if we keep this range uh, we can check if we should be reshoving here with our stack I mean like th it says three bad but it's pretty much the same as a call here because we have pretty much the similar stack uh, and if we go here we can see that a stand suited is a minus EV shove in this spot so According to according to Hold'em Resources Calculator, we should have folded here. It is quite close. Uh, it is like on the verge, like Ace Jack suited the call, Ace Ten suited, Ace Ten suited is a fold. Uh, however, this was a bounty tournament. There were bounties on the line, so arguably we could say this might have been a call, depending on his bounty. We do cover him, right? So yeah, but in general, this should be a fold versus this range that he is shoving. Uh, we can play around with this uh, range. Like for example, it's really easy to play around here if we add all pocket pairs. Um, add all suited aces. Let's say he's jamming all suited aces, something like that. Um, ace 10 off, something like that. 17%, and we can change. We can see how our, how our range changes, and you can see already now that ace 10 suited is a profitable uh, reshove in this spot. So yeah, if we widen our his range by a few percentages, our ace 10 suited is a profitable call but to be honest he's raising from the UTG. He seems fairly tight so far, so I would rather give him a bit of a tighter range than a wider range. So yeah, let's go to the next hand. We have pocket force, we have 22 big blinds, we open jam from middle position, and everybody folds. So what I wanted to see here is just simply, I mark this hand just to see if this is an okay shove and how wide we should be shoving in this spot according to Hold'em Resources Calculator. So let's find this hand, uh, 934, so this is the situation. We have 35K, and as you can see that pocket fours are a Fairly profitable, but still a profitable shove. Uh, you should like pocket threes are a break-even shove. Pocket deuces should be folded in this spot, uh, and pocket fours are a marginally profitable shove. I wouldn't mind just folding them. Um, there was some dynamics at the table. The big blind was quite tight. Uh, the button was really tight, so I decided to go for a shove here. Uh, decided I have a little le a little more fold equity than usual. So yeah, uh, according to Holden Resources Calculator, a uh, profitable shove here consists of like pocket pairs with fours and above, ace jack off plus, and all the suited broadways. So yeah, um, pretty easy hand, pretty easy to solve, but I just wanted to put it in to see the results. Uh, let's go to the next hand, we have ace jack suited, I remember this hand, we open from the cutoff and everybody folds. So pretty much nothing to analyze, right? But I wanted to see um, if ace jack, like I know, I'm pretty sure like for 26 big blinds, uh, ace jack suited is a call in this spot if the big blind shoves. Uh, but let's say what Hold'em Resources Calculator says, right? Uh, let me let me see which hand is that, 263, let's find the situation here, so 263. And as you can see we open, um, min open here, we should be opening around 35%, which is totally fine in the cutoff. And let's say the big blind jams. 
Uh, as you can see, all the suited aces are really profitable. Call ace jack suited is hugely profitable. But you have to realize Hold'em resources calculator uh, says that uh, the big blind should be shoving 32% of the hands. But let's let's say he's a bit on the tighter side and he's going to be shoving a bit less. Let's say he's going to be shoving like fives and above. Uh, let's give him a, a bit of a really tight range to see how we do versus that. Uh, let's just remove this. Never mind. Let's just let's just remove everything and we'll go from that. So we'll give him fives like let's say ace eight suited, ace nine off. Uh, King Jack, Queen Jack, Jack 10, maybe King Queen off, something like this, like 13% range, a really tight range. Let's see what we should be calling versus that range. Um, so we should be calling Ace Jack suited, still highly profitable, as you can see. So, yeah. Um, it kind of makes sense. Ace Jack suited is going to be really high up our range. It's going to do well versus most of his shoving range. So it should be um, fairly fairly easy decision with ace jack suited but as you can see ace 10 suited is still profitable ace 9 suited is however minus cv you should ditch king queen suited you should fold ace 10 off and you should fold like pocket pairs of sixes and below so yep let's go to the next hand pocket eights let's see we min open we 2.2 i guess yeah 2.2 utg we get a call from the cutoff and a gem from the button. Like this is a situation that you cannot analyze in IC Miser because if you input this hand into IC Miser, it just doesn't do a calculations where there are flats behind you and a shove. So he doesn't want to have anybody else in the pot than just you and somebody shoving, right? So here in Hold'em Resources Calculator, we can do that. I'll, I'll show you 797. So this is the hand. As you can see, we are opening here um, from the ETG. He wants us to open around 17%, which is fine. And we find the guy on the cutoff. So Kimbo, this guy flats. So here he's flatting and the button shoves. So chicken shoves. As you can see, he should be shoving around 8%, which is fairly tight. Uh, I don't mind it. There's still like he has 26 big blinds. A lot of the hands uh, play well as a call, right? He doesn't want to three bet them. Uh, and the ones that he wants to three bet are like nines plus uh, suited broadways, ace queen off, and ace jack suited plus. So I think this is a fine range. And now we can check what we should be calling. And according to Hold'em Resources, this is really interesting. We should be folding pocket eights here. As you can see, pocket nines are a profitable call. Yet yeah, not as profitable as pocket tens, for example. Pocket tens are hugely profitable, but pocket nines barely. Uh, I decided to call, I mean, overshove just to get this guy out of the pot. Um, we can check, we can check what he had. Like, let's see. Okay, he had queen. So, like, he he does he didn't have a wider range that Hold'em resources give him here because if he had it, we could widen this range and see if our call was correct. But given given he has such a given that that tight of a range, we should be folding pocket eights here. So this was a mistake. Uh, however, this was a, again, bounty tournament. So there was a bounty on the line. So that does change change things a little bit because it gives us better odds with a bounty. Uh, but still, like in a vacuum, this should be a fold with pocket eights, given the ranges. Uh, let's go to the next hand, King Jack suited. Uh, we open on the button and get shoved on in the big blind for 15 big blinds adjusted. Uh, for 15 big blinds effective um so king jack suited i i would imagine this should be a pretty easy call um 586 we do cover him by a mile he's gonna be shoving fairly wide there for 15 big blinds so yeah let's see we open to 20k uh we should be opening 44 percent this is like debatable you can adjust that you can go wider you can go even tighter if they're three betting a lot they're not so you probably go a bit wider but let's just leave it like this i think it's a fine range and we get a jam from Aldo. As you can see, King Jack suited is highly profitable call here. Given, um, sorry, um, sorry, we have to click this. As you can see, King Jack suited is a highly profitable call given his ra range here. But let's again, let's tighten his range a bit. Um, let's say he's definitely going to be shoving all pocket pairs there, all suited aces, King nine suited, Queen nine, Jack nine, Ten nine, something like this. If you put him like. Let's, let's, let's like 21%. Let's say sometimes King 7, something like this. Let's give him 22.5%, so like a 10% less. So let's see now if King Jack suited is still a profitable call. And as you can see, King Jack suited is still a profitable call. So you would have to go really, really tight uh, with his jams to uh, not make this a profitable call. Let's see if we put it like this, like 17%. 
uh, King Jack is still profitable as you can see so we have to narrow it down even more uh, let's remove some of the lowest aces some of the lowest pocket pairs something like this uh, and King Jack is still profitable so we have to tighten even more uh, okay if we remove those broadways I think now we're gonna be getting really close to making a King Jack uh, minus CV call and as you can see it is if he's jamming such a range like fives plus uh, a6 suited a stand off and above uh, broad some broadways. This is a minus CV call with King Jack suited, but I think in general he's gonna be shoving a little wider than that. So King Jack suited is going to be a call in this spot. Uh, final two hands, pocket nines. Let's see. We open uh, 2.2x, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we get a call from the small blind, which is fine, and we get a shove from the big blind. This is 29 big blinds effective uh, versus this guy. This could be. A, this is a, actually an interesting spot. Um, I would have to say that I don't know if this is a call here. I would say pocket tens are certainly a call. Um, I mean, there's a lot of dead money in the pot, so he has a nice shoving opportunity here. He has a decent amount of fold equity, so I would assume that he's going to be shoving a little bit wider. So I'm going to say this is a call here. Uh, let's see, 955, this is the hand, so we open. We open pocket nines. Yeah, this is the spot. We get called by the small blind. This is the hyena guy. This guy calls. And the uh, big blind shoves. Uh, and we should be calling. Okay, according to Holo Resources, we should be for calling Force Plus, Ace 8 Suited Plus, Ace 10 Off Plus, and some Broadways. Um, I think this is fine. Like, it gives him quite a wide shoving range here. I would still go a bit tighter with that. Let's say he's going to be flatting all those suited connectors. Like this hand, he's going to call to see a flop, right? He's closing the action. So, yeah, I think he's going to be calling. Let's say he's shoving something like something like this, like 13%. Let's say if he shoves something like this, like deuces threes, he's going to call. He's going to set mine. Uh, small suited aces, he's going to call. Let's say he's going to shove these bigger ones, some king ten suited. Even those hands, I think he should call sometimes. I mean, he's going to call sometimes. But let's say he jams like 12.8%. Um, as you can see, nines, nines are still a clear cut call here. He has to be showing quite tight, way tighter than, uh, um, the, than this for nines to make a minus CV uh, call, uh, which kind of makes sense. Let's say he's shoving like, I don't know, eights plus, ace ten suited plus, ace jack off, um, something like this, 8.3%. Even then, uh, even then, like pocket nines are a profitable call, as you can see. With all the dead money in the pot and the odds we're getting, um, it's just a, yeah, it's just a call here. So yeah, pocket nines we did call and it's fine. Let's see what he had. He had ace queen suited, so really not much we can say. The other guy had tens, which is interesting, right? But I mean, he's gonna have a wide calling range there, I feel. Um, but yeah, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, out to, out to play. So yeah, he showed up with ace queen suited, which is definitely in his range. Even in his eight percent range, it's there. So um, yeah, I think it's a fine call. So move on to the last hand. Uh, we have king ten suited. So let's see. Uh, get a min open from the button. Small blind calls, and we shove. Like this is a spot where uh, Holden Resources calculator is really good because because we can even compare two different um, actions that we can take. We can compare the EV of shoving here and EV of calling. And we can see which one is better with this specific hand. So it's a, just a second, four, four, nine. So it's, a, it's this hand. So let's see. Uh, the button min opens, right? So this, this is this, uh, the small blind over calls. And we have two situations, like we can call or we can shove. Um, we did shove, let's say, let's see King 10 suited. So King 10 suited is a pretty profitable shove here, 1.91 in EV. Uh, and let's say, let, let's see what, what, what the Hold'em resources says for calling. Calling with like m mostly any hands here should be profitable just due to the odds we're getting, which kind of makes sense, right? Defending in the big blind there. And as you can see, King Jack suited is highly profitable call, right? But the thing is, like, sorry, King 10 suited, 1.59. But there's a catch, right? If you see the EV here, it's 1.59, but EV of shoving is 1.91. So Hold'em Resources wants you to shove King 10 suited a little bit more than call here. It says it's a better shove than call, right? So that's pretty sweet to know, um, really good. Um, but yeah, 
uh, what I was trying to, so, to show here is basically, I mean, obviously this King Tan suit is a no-brainer shove. It's, it's going to be always profitable. But I wanted to show you that we can even play around with like two different actions and see which one is better, right? Um, so yeah, this is going to be it in terms of the hands for today. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the program. I think it's better than Icemizer. I wanna. I'm going to like from the from now on. I'm gonna use this program to analyze our hands in our future vlogs. Uh, it just gives us so many more options to play around with. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to put it down down below. Um, if you have any objections about the ranges, please let me know so we can talk about them. And that's pretty much it. So have a nice Sunday. Uh, good luck at the tables, and see you later. Bye bye.